What do you want? <gasps> My wife. She is like ice. So cold. So pale. <sighs> All the warmth sucked out of her. There was a commotion at the palace. Everyone was headed that way. Except one man. No, not a man. He wore an eye patch, but his face was bestial. He dragged her along like a bone between a dog's teeth. Then he tossed her aside, pale as snow. He was fast, so fast, ran to the Hall of the Dead. He never even looked back at what he had done. Will you pray with me for these poor souls? Cut down and bound for the Hall of the Dead much too soon. It was a monster, a vampire. I have seen such creatures before, but this one wore an eye patch. It moved like a shadow and took sustenance from these poor souls. I called upon Arke's grace, and the vampire fled before his sacred presence. Toward the main gate, I pray the guard finished off the depraved creature before it took another innocent life. Well? You again? Didn't I warn you about putting your nose where it doesn't belong? A vampire? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But whoever it was tore out Sonolia's throat and fled through the gate before I could stop him. What do you know about all this? And why is it any of your business? The Queen's... dead? What about the High King? He'll have my head for letting the assassin slip away. You... you think... Would the High King really... But I'm a loyal subject! No more talk. I need to get Sonoria off the street. This is Spargrim's fault. He should have heeded us from the start. Damn Spargrim and his distrust of Yorin! How many more of his people have to die before he accepts the truth and lets us help him? Forget that for now. Tell me about the assassin. Did anyone get a good look at the murderer? That would explain the Assassin's swiftness and ability to escape so easily. We knew the Ice Reach Coven had vampires on their side, but using them so blatantly. Anything else to report? Well then, time to fight fire with fire. They've got evil vampires and we've got a friendly one. Let's find out exactly what your friend Fen knows about vampire clans in the area. Where did you tell me Fen was going again? Right. To research the ritual. Go find them and see what you can learn. I'll stay with Savannah. Bring her up to speed on everything we've uncovered. We're going to need her to get the High King to trust us. And I'm calling him Fen. It's simpler.
Welcome to the middle of nowhere, my friend. You must be freezing. Warm yourself by the fire, and tell me how your audience with the High King went. A bold move, even for them. Old Njolin and I have been comparing notes, and we've made some progress studying the Harrowstorm ritual. What happened to your large friend with the axe, by the way? We knew that vampires were working with the Coven. And old Mjolin and I can say with certainty that the feral Harrow fiends are byproducts of Harrow storms. You think the assassin was one of the vampires in league with the Coven? An eye patch? That's uncommon. And this insignia, I've seen it before. It's the same as the symbol that decorates the urns smuggled out of Bankarai. If it belongs to a vampire bloodline, I'm not familiar with it. I suggest you ask Mjolin. Local wisdom dictates that only the very brave or the very foolish seek the counsel of vampires and old crones. Which are you, I wonder? Well, out with it. What can old Mjolin do for you? A grim talisman. It bears an enchantment of some kind, though the symbol upon it holds no significance that I'm aware of. I can help find the owner of this medallion. But I need some specific items to cast such a divination. Bring me the bones of a wolf and a death bell plant pulled up by its roots. I need the plant alive. The wolf, not so much. With those reagents, I can conjure a divination that will lead you directly to the last person to wear this medallion. Death bell grows throughout the bog. You should have no trouble acquiring it. Wolves are plentiful in the wilderness around Morthol as well, but be cautious. Many seem afflicted by a strange curse. I would hate for you to run afoul of it. An icy rime clings to the wolves, sapping the heat and life from their bodies until only a frigid, shambling corpse remains. You are safe from them here, but be mindful out in the wild. Welcome back. Warm yourself by the fire, and tell me about the reagents I requested. Good, good. Divinations can be fickle. The longer we delay, the colder the trail grows. Let's see if we can catch the scent of your prey. Mother Wolf, hear me! 
we seek your blessing in our hunt. Lead us to our elusive quarry. Mother Wolf smiles upon you. She has seen fit to join your pack and aid you in your hunt. Mother Wolf has the scent and will lead you to your quarry. I have enchanted the medallion with a divination spell inextricably linked to its owner. Hold it to your nose and breathe deeply. It will guide you along his trail. Mother Wolf will guide you along the way, but you must still complete the hunt and find him. If the assassin eludes you, use the medallion to recover his trail. The wolf is relentless in her pursuit. The question is, will you be like the wolf? And look! The magic points to the west! What an interesting use of primitive magic. That was clearly your vampire assassin. He even wore an eye patch. It looked like he was at a small camp. And you saw that ball of magic, huh? It went to the west. That must be where you'll find the camp. Didn't I tell you? The clever woman's magic can be quite exciting. Not my usual process of investigation, but effective just the same. I'll leave old Mjolin to continue our research and follow after you. I want to see how the divination plays out. The assassin drained her of blood. He must have been desperate to feed while trying to escape. Is it wrong to find these visions so intriguing? This one showed your assassin again, eye patch and all by a cave near a waterfall. And the ball of magicka drifted toward the west again. I suggest we go that way as quickly as possible. There's nothing we can do for her. The vampire assassin drained all the blood from her body. He took his time with her, I think. Probably needed to recover his strength after the events at the palace. Let's get after him before the trail grows cold.
Oh, traveler, you must turn back. Chill wind depths, it's crawling with giant insects. I need to go inside and gather ingredients to heal my sister. But the things in there, they keep chasing me out. I'm a humble healer from Dragon Ridge. My family, uh, my brother, my sister, and I, we came to gather plants and other medicinal ingredients. Hedrin wandered too close to this cave. That's when the Charis attacked her. One of the giant insects I told you about. My brother needs to stay by Hedrin's side. So, I'm trying to enter the cave. If I can gather a few special ingredients, I can make an elixir to heal my sister. Could you, would you, help me? Oh, thank you. I wasn't able to take three steps into the cave before something attacked me. I am a healer and not very good in battle. We need to find a chillwind mushroom, deep lichen, and an unfertilized charis egg. Then I can heal my sister. Chillwind mushrooms can only be found in this cave. The bugs eat them and the deep lichen that grows on the walls. Well, when they aren't munching on people. Uh, mixed with an unfertilized Charis egg, they create a powerful antidote to Charis poison. The cave system consists of winding caverns. There's a lot of wildlife down there. Uh, some of it is the usual things you'd expect to find underground. Some of it, like the giant insects, is more exotic. It's dangerous, but we need those ingredients. Hedrin's as sweet as honeysuckle, but tough as steel. Everybody loves her. She's younger than me, and I've been training her in the healing arts. But if I can't make the elixir in time, no, I can't think like that. We'll save her. We have to. This is definitely the place in the vision. I'll slip past and scout ahead. Could the stories about underground humanoids be true?
I never would have gotten this far without your help. Uh, let's be careful and find the rest of what I need. This is definitely the place in between. Quickly, Traveler! Give me the ingredients so I can make the elixir for my sister. Chillwind mushroom. A patch of deep lichen and... An unfertilized Charis egg. Perfect! With these, it's only a matter of time before Hedrin is as good as new. Thank you. Uh, please, accept this humble gift along with my gratitude. You have done a great service for my family, Traveler. Now my sister has a chance. I'll craft a curative and administer it to her as soon as possible. Thank you again. Mara and Kain willing. My elixir will work, and she will be on her feet in no time. I couldn't have done it without you, Traveler. You kept my brother safe, and made it possible to heal my sister. You have my thanks, Traveler. You have done 